Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to make this smaller shark to go with the family of sharks I made last week. This large shark using 8 ply wool is 11.5 cm by 9 cm or 4.5 inches by 3.5 inches and this medium shark using 4 ply crochet cotton is 7.5 centimetres by six centimetres or three inches by two and a quarter inches. Now I'll be making the larger shark today in eight ply wool which is light worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got grey for my main colour and white for the teeth and the eyes. I've got sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and also the black to embroider on a dot on the eyes. I've got my darning needle to weave in the end, scissors, and I'll be using a 2.5mm crochet hook. Now I'll start on the head, this small part here. So using my grey, I make a magic loop. So I put my hook on the yarn, pull the short end over the hook, and take the long end over the top of the short end. Yarn around the hook, and take the hook with the yarn in through the circle. And that's my magic loop. And then I work two chain. Into my circle I'm going to work two half double crochet. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet I put my yarn around the hook, hook in through the circle and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through all the loops. So I need another half double crochet. And then I pull my circle tight. For row two, I start with two chain and turn my work. I work two half double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch. and one half double crochet in the top of the two chain from the beginning of row one. For row three, I start with three chain and turn my work. I work two double crochet into the first stitch. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet, you put your yarn around the hook hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take your hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through the remaining two loops. That's a double crochet. We need one more in the same stitch. And then we work one half double crochet into each remaining stitch and one half double crochet into the top of the chain and we'll have six stitches. For row 4 we start with 2 chain and turn our work. We work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches. For a joined half double crochet we put our yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops. And then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then one double crochet into each of the last two stitches.
For row 5, we start with 3 chain and turn our work. We work one half double crochet into the first stitch. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet, we put our hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through the two loops. So we need a single crochet into each stitch to the end. And that's the head done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row, I'm going to work a slip stitch into each stitch. Often I'd work a single crochet, but for this one I'd rather work a slip stitch so it doesn't make it too thick. For a slip stitch I put my hook into the stitch, bring up a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. So hook into a, the next stitch, just find a suitable place, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on your hook. And I'm just going to work a slip stitch right round and across the top. So I'll continue around the row and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the head done. I'll start on the body and the tail now. So I make a magic loop. And work two chain and I work six half double crochet into my circle. Pull the circle tight. For row 2 I start with 2 chain and turn. I work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into each stitch and one half double crochet into the top of the chain and I'll have eight stitches. For row 3 I start with 2 chain and turn. I work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into each stitch and one half double crochet into the top of the chain and I'll have 10 stitches.
For row 4 I start with 2 chain and turn. I work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch. one half double crochet into each stitch and one half double crochet into the top of the chain and I'll have 12 stitches. For row 5 I start with 2 chain and turn. I work 1 half double crochet into each of the first 9 stitches and then I work 1 double crochet into each of the last 3 stitches and I'll have 12 stitches. So 1 half double crochet into each of the first 9 stitches. and then one double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row six I start with two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches and I'll have 11 stitches so one half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 10 stitches. So a half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work 1 half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 9 stitches.
So one half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And for row 9 we start with 2 chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 8 stitches. So one half double crochet over each in each stitch to the last two stitches. And a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches. 1 half double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches. and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have six stitches. For row 10 we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And we've got four stitches. For row 12 we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. and then work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. So we put our hook into the stitch and bring up a loop and then our hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take it through the three loops. Now we start on the tail. So for row 13 we start with two chain and turn and we're going to work three half double crochet into each of our two stitches and we'll have six stitches. So three half double crochet into each stitch. For row 14 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 2 double crochet into the first stitch one double crochet into the next stitch Into the next stitch we work one half double crochet and a single crochet. 
into the following stitch. We work one single crochet and a half double crochet and then work one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into our last stitch. For row 15 we start with 3 chain and turn and we're going to work a double crochet cluster over the first 3 stitches. For a double crochet cluster we put our yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through 2 loops. Then we put our yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook take our hook and yarn through the first two loops. We've got three loops on our hook. Then we put our yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through two loops. We've got four loops on our hook. Then we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through all the loops. And that's a double crochet cluster. And then we fasten off. And that's the first part of the tail done. For the second part of the tail, we join our yarn in the fourth last stitch. So this stitch here. And work three chain. And then we're going to work a double crochet cluster over the next three stitches. Next we work a neatening row. So down the tail I'm going to work a slip stitch into each stitch just so it doesn't make it too thick. And then round the body I'm going to work a single crochet into each stitch except when I'm going round a curve when I might need to work two single crochet into each stitch. So just find a suitable place to put your hook fairly close to the edge and work a single crochet in each stitch. Now I'll continue around until I get back to the tail and I'll meet you there. Once we get back to the tail we work one slip stitch into each stitch up to the top of the tail.
and in the top of the tail we work two chain and work a joined half double crochet in the next two stitches. and fasten off. And then we join our yarn in the top of the next tail section and work two chain and a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. and fasten off. And that's the body and tail done. For this top fin here, we join our yarn six stitches up from the tail. So this stitch here and work four chain. We work one treble into the same stitch as a chain. A treble is called a double treble in the UK. For a treble we put our yarn around the hook twice hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two more loops and yarn around the hook and take it through the remaining two loops. And then we work two double crochet into the following stitch One half double crochet into the next stitch, a single crochet into the following stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. And that's the fish done. We'll crochet this little fin on after we put the head on and I'll do this other fin in a few minutes. Now for the teeth, if you prefer you could cut them out of felt because they're quite a lot of fiddle, a lot of fastening off and weaving in ends. Now I start with my white and make 10 chain. I miss the first two chain and work a join double crochet over the next two chain. And fasten off. that's the first tooth done. For the second tooth I join in this same stitch as the last part of the joined double crochet. So just in there. And I work two chain and then I work a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches.
and pass them off. And that's two teeth done. For the third tooth, I join in the same stitch as the last part of the last joined half double crochet. And work two chain and work a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. and pass them off. For the last tooth I join in the same stitch as the last part of the joined half double crochet. And work two chain and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. and fasten off. And that's the teeth done. For the large bottom fin, using my grey, I make a magic loop and work two chain and work one half double crochet into my circle and pull the circle tight. For row two, I start with two chain and turn and work two half double crochet into the stitch and two half double crochet in the top of the chain And for row three, I start with two chain and turn. I work two half double crochet into the first stitch. Two double crochet into the next stitch. Two treble into the following stitch. Sorry, my fingers aren't bending very well this morning.
and one treble into the top of the chain. And fasten off. And for the eyes, using white, I make a magic loop. And start with one chain and work eight single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And I'll need to pull that, that tighter with my mat matting thing when I finish um, weaving in my ends and I'll need another eye the same so I make a magic loop and work one chain and work eight single crochet into the circle Pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. Now I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's all my pieces. The first things I'll do is embroider these black dots on the eyes and I'll attach the teeth under the head just in like that. Next we'll attach the head to the body. The top goes even with the top of the body but the front sticks over the front bit just slightly. So just in like that. Now for this small bottom fin we join our yarn under the second last tooth. So just in there and start with four chain and we're going to work a cluster of one double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. So yarn around the hook hook into the same stitch as the chain and bring up a loop, yarn around and take our hook and yarn through the two loops. And then a half double crochet, so yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop and then we're going to do a double crochet, so yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through two loops and then yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through our remaining loops and fasten off. Now 
Now I'll weave in those ends and I'll also attach the other fin. It just goes in there in between the tail and the front fin and I'll attach the eyes. One goes at the front just sticking over slightly and near the back of the head and the other goes behind the head and sticking up slightly just like that. So I'll stitch those on and I'll be back to show you the finished shark. And there's the finished small shark. If you like my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.